Good morning, everybody. I am watching a documentary about cults because um, that's the type of thing I like to watch. I'm in Kansas City today. We have a show tonight. I'm about to do my hair because it took a shower last night, so it's a big poofy mess. I am going to do my hair. I'm still sleeping. Goodbye. about to go to the venue to do sound check and meet and greet and a show and that's what I'm about to do so let's go y'all all right we're about to do sound check I am on the stage in Kansas City I've been obsessing over polygamous <laughs> I don't know why but that's like all I've been watching lately but we'll talk about that after sound check because it's like my new obsession is watching and learning about polygamy because it's just like fascinating to me And the other night I couldn't sleep and I started watching Sister Wives, which is the show on TLC about a man who has four wives. And I was like, wow. And I kind of just like started researching them and now I'm like obsessed with just, cause just it's fascinating to me like that women, some women in this world are okay with their man sleeping with other women. Wow. Talking about polygamy, You're how obsessed. like, I am, it's fascinating. I don't want to be a polygamist, I have no interest in that, but it's just fascinating to me that people are okay with their husband sleeping with other people. What? And they like, like it. The tea is that like, let them live their life as long as they're not hurting anybody, but there also is a lot of, you know, polygamy where there's like pedophilia and just like, stuff that's not good and that's terrible but there is that in kind of everything in life there are christians who are pedophiles there are atheists who are pedophiles so it kind of goes with anything but in polygamy i guess it's happened a lot but anyway i'm just like so fascinated by it <laughs> But when I'm in character, I know that I'm really confident and I care about the thing and I'm proud to be weird and different and it's really um, just exciting to be able to feel that. Good boy, you happy we're home? Back in LA! Moosey moose. My cat sitter and the dog sitter here got another cat. There's one cat, there's two cats, there's a moose moose, and there's another cat over here. Somehow it looks exactly like Gus. Suspicious. <laughs> all right, Moosey, I'm gonna go to the pet store because this fat boy ate all his food. I need to get him more food to make him even fatter. Guys, every time I come to the, air, to the airport, I'm so tired. Every time I come to the pet store, I see these backpacks. And I'm wondering if this comes out so you can see your cat, but I always really want to get them. <laughs> they have one of these. It's kind of torn to shreds though, the one that they have. This one's good, this one's good. I don't need any more cat trees. How many do you have? I have 800. But I should get them a new one of these though because the one that I have at the house, really bad. My cats are really fat and so I try to feed them healthy stuff. So I feed them expensive wet food and then their snacks that I give them, which I probably give them too many, but I give them like just dried chicken and dried salmon, just meat. I'm not giving them like all the extra additives and everything. And I've never given them these, but I think I wanna try their little, I've never done it because they just like gross me out, but they're little shrimps. But I wanna try it. They look really gross, they're grossing me out already, but I think they'll like them. What do you think, Daisy? Do you like your new scratching post? You go, baby. You have poop on your butt, so story of my life. Oh, Is there a huge dingle? Look at this huge Yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's dragging an actual huge turd. Oh, oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Daisy! Wow. That was traumatic. <laughs> now there's just poo guts all over my kitchen counter. It's lovely. But we got out the poo dingles. Welcome to having a Persian cat. And we're gonna see if Gus likes this. Because I have a scratching post in my room, but he's kind of destroyed it. So he really likes the old one I have. And Eric was so nice to watch my pets for me while I was gone. So we're gonna make some dinner. Yeah, chicken pot's fine. Oh, you gonna dab on that pot pie? Ooh, he likes it. Yay. He likes it. Tonight for dinner, I'm making chicken pot pie, mashed potatoes, and corn on the cob. And I'm so excited. This is like my favorite thing in the world to do is to cook. I am stoked. And I have a pretty good chicken pot pie recipe, so I think you'll be pleased, Jacqueline. Chicken pot pie is not the easiest thing in the world to make, so uh, I gotta get chopping and get cooking. But it's all about having your stuff 
prep. So I need to chop up all these veggies and get it all prepped and make some delicious food. Here's a tip. If you like the bottom of your pie crusty and not soggy, cook the bottom layer of the pie first. So I put this in for like 10 minutes and let it cook so that it's crunchy, so that when we bake the whole thing, it doesn't get soggy. The animals were a little bit naughty for Eric. <laughs> he was very nice to watch them while we were gone, so I'm making him dinner to say thank you um, because, yeah, they were naughty. How do you think? Is that look good? Mm -hmm. There we go. Chicken pot pie, mashed potato, cauliflower potato mash, and corn on the cobs. Cut off the cobs because I'm not a serial killer and I don't get it in my teeth. Moose, what do you think? This is mine. What do you think? <laughs> Thanks for chopping the potatoes. Beggars. Let's see if these pussies like these nasty raw shrimp. Oh, here comes one. Oh, they smell like dirty poos nanny. Come here, babies. What do you think? Do you like it? The little tiny shrimps. Oh. <laughs> they like them. Daisy's not like crazy about them. Gus is, but Gus is crazy about all foods. Like Gus just wants to eat all the time everything, so these little shrimpies. All my babies. I am in happy land. I got all my babies. See, Daisy's not a fan. She spit hers out. Oh, now she's eating it again. Maybe she thought I was gonna take it away from her. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> so, had a great night and getting ready for bed and turn off all the lights and then realized that um, my house smelled like cat poop. So I went to look and their cat poop machine. I have a, nap, a cat poop thingy that like cleans out the cat poop. I said cat poop about 600 times just now. There's a lot of cat poop everywhere. I need to go deal with that. It's midnight and I'm about to go clean up a bunch of cat poop. Eric was so sweet to watch the pets while I was gone and um, I just don't think he knew that that thing wasn't working. So I need to go clean it out, it's really nasty. And I love you guys, and next weekend I'm going to Vegas and he's coming, um, and so is Harvey and it's gonna be a lot of fun. But look at all this poop. Good night.